You know, the game itself, I, I thought in the first half, you know, we got off to a, a pretty decent start, uh, kind of set the tempo and did what we thought we wanted to do. And then that tide shifted a little bit. Um, they kind of had momentum, we thought, a little bit at halftime. And, and we just talked about um, being a little tougher with the basketball, uh, making better decisions, continue to do what we were doing on the defensive end, because we, we were pretty pleased with that. Uh, and then when, when we were able to get some shots and, and, and handle their pressure, you know, we got some layups, we got some kickouts for threes, we got in transition a little bit. And uh, you knock shots down, uh, that helps the cause. It was starting with our defense. I mean, that was, uh, that was the main key that uh, Coach stretched to us. We had to guard the basketball and we had to close out a little bit harder. But uh, I think that eventually led us getting in transition. And uh, our transition is probably one of our uh, stronger points that we've had going this season. So that made it a little bit tougher for them to match up. And uh, we eventually just kind of warmed down and uh, broke down the defense in that way. Coach talked about it. He said, you know, we might have an advantage inside and to try and attack it. And I'll credit them to my teammates, you know, they get it into me a lot. And I just, you know, I just went with the flow of the game and tried to put it in the basket. Well, I mean, that's a pretty unique run. I mean, when, when you put an 18-0 run, that, that's good stuff. I mean, we've had runs through the year at different times of the season, and, and that's something, you know, we, we can be explosive with that once we start getting some turnovers and, and run outs. Um, Sometimes we get bogged down in a half court too, but when we were able to do that, that's when, that's when, when we're pretty good with, with that type of situation. So, yeah, that, that was a unique run. That's, that helps. I don't know. The last time was pretty tough to top, but um, I think... <laughs> it was very I, calm today. Yeah. <laughs> it was. <laughs> okay. Um, but um, I think we just, we just kind of knew. I, I know, at, speaking for myself, I'm like, this is, this is my last high school basketball game and uh, this first state championship. And I'm pretty sure that uh, my, uh, my other six seniors and then the rest of the team was, were thinking the same thing, that uh, why wouldn't you play as hard as you possibly can for these guys and for our great community. Um, but he just really stressed being tough. Um, they, were, they were being tougher than us flat out. And uh, we just kind of really had to take care of the ball um, and work the ball inside because we knew we had that height advantage going in. <clears throat> but I think all came down to the defensive end. We really buckled down and got some turnovers, and that started our offense. Well, I mean, at that time, I, I'm thinking, well, don't go in, please. So momentum continues to shift that way. But, you know, you, you don't know how the, how the course of a game is going to go. We weren't real sure of the matchups with this team. You know, we, we knew they were very guard dominant and very pesky on the defensive end and, and ran their, their five wide offense to a T. We made just a couple adjustments, um, and they took advantage of it a little bit in the first half. But again, when we when we make up our minds that that we're going to take away what they want to do, and, and this team's done it all year on the defensive end, it, it, we feed off of that. And it, 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 it turn you know we had you know we had 19 turnovers, which is uncharacteristic, but their ball pressure was fabulous. It really was. You know, Cam's a whip puppy, and they were constantly pressuring the basketball and they and but we turned them over 22 times so we won that battle it's coming in we knew their offense mainly ran through uh those three guys um and he was one of them um just we just kind of shade him we coach emphasized um just not giving any help off him i mean he's a dead red shooter um he can stroke it he can fill it up um i just tried to i knew my teammates were gonna give good ball pressure and they were just going to take care of business, and I just had to do my job. It, it's, that's what it just all came down to, just everyone doing their job, and everybody had their role and their um, part in today's game, and that was just mine, just staying close to him, not letting him get rolling. Well, it's, you know, it's, it, it's, it's awesome, you know, when you have small town USA like we have, and we have a couple communities that make up our school district and Convoy and Wren, and just the tradition of our basketball program through the years, um, you know, with obviously starting with Coach Ray Etzler, you know, our Hall of Fame coach, and lo and behold, he's he's actually still on our staff. Uh, he's he's one of our junior high coaches, but it, it's really special. Uh, there's a lot of people that uh, before us, uh, before me, that that put a lot of time into this program. Um, it's just really cool to be able to to bring a gold trophy back to those people in our community. I mean, like Cam said, it was just our defense. I mean. It didn't really hit me until they took that timeout where we were up, I think. I know they took one, and then they might, it might have been that same one where we were up 19. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> um, we were doing some good things out there. Um, 
And like he said, just the transition game, that's, that's what got us rolling. We got our stops, we secured the rebounds, um, and then we just converted on the other end, and that was big for us, getting those um, easy buckets out in transition. Yeah, our offense was kind of stagnant at times tonight with their, their, great, their great defensive team, and that kind of limited us. But once we got out in transition, that kind of just opened it up, and definitely we, we just kept extending it. I mean, we, we didn't. I mean, we talked about just a mentality, a toughness piece, and, and we wanted to take better care of the basketball. And I'm pretty simplistic uh, in, in what we do. We keep it simple, and that's really what it came down to. I mean, we just took care of the ball. Um, we kind of imposed our will better, and I thought if we could do that, then, then, then we'd be okay in the second <laughs> half. And I was a little, I was worried about that at half. Worked hours upon hours for us, and just not only practice, but practice plans, dissecting film, and then uh, dissecting our own film then. Um, but they, they work tirelessly for us, and we have uh, five greatest coaches that we can have, and uh, they, they set us up for success, and that displayed itself today. Yeah, that's, that's uh, my, my father, who, who passed away about seven years ago, uh, was a race car driver, uh, semi-professional, and had the number 29 uh, on his race car. So it, it, it fit. It really fit. It was really cool. Coach Myers, Coach Bowen, Coach Gregory, Coach Springer out there. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't want anybody else as my coaches. I mean, they're just all great role models for us as kids growing up and just they're a tremendous leaders for us. Um, it's just amazing. I mean, we've been so blessed. Um, it's just awesome. I would do, I mean, I don't know how much sleep these guys got this weekend to do to get this job done, um, but I'm sure it wasn't very much, that's for sure. But I know they, they wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, and they put us in our situations for success, and um, it's just amazing to me to see these guys and just all our hard work pay off. I think a lot of things, I mean, and I'm not even sure they're connected to basketball. I think it's just, um, you know, at that time I was you know, 29, 28 years old. And uh, as you get older, you learn how to make connections differently with kids, better with kids. Um, our staff is strong. I have a great coaching staff. Um, That's it. I love our coaches, you know. I wouldn't want to play for anyone else. It's good because they can, they'll joke around with us a lot, and we know you know, we can you know, joke around with them too. But when it gets to practice and games, it's, you know, you, you got to be ready. And it's just Coach Bess is an intense, intense coach, and that's good because sometimes when we're doing things wrong, he's going he's gonna to tell us, and he's going to mean it. And when we're, we do things right, he comes in the locker room, and we're all excited. And, I just love him. <laughs> I mean, it's huge. Um, not only for my Etzler family, but the Cresby family, but also the, my, my second family with these group of guys and uh, these five coaches. But I mean, obviously, uh, my Uncle Ray and uh, my Uncle Doug, and then uh, my dad, obviously, all going through the program, and my other cousins, too. Um, they they didn't get the chance to be here like like uh, I've been presented, and it's just it's just kind of cool. This isn't just a state championship for us. This is a state championship for anyone that's played within the system that's established such a great name for Crestview basketball and the hard work and dedication that we've all put in. Well, you know I, we had a good feel you know from the first day of practice that we had and our first day of conditioning that that we could. You know, be a good basketball team, but you got to go through the season, and, and you know, you want to stay healthy and all that stuff that goes along with it. But I think that that weekend in itself, we had LCC on the Friday night, and then uh, we both run defeat at the time, and then we had Arlington the next night, who was a very good D4 team, was down here a couple years ago. Uh, they came in undefeated, and, and I think that whole weekend um, kind of solidified with our guys that, hey, you know, we. We, 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 can, we can be okay if, if we do what we do and, and um, get after it, so to speak. And, and there's just a lot of stages as we went through the year, a lot of different games, practices, that, that you, you kind of thought that maybe we could, you know, put a run together. I'd say a little bit. I mean, we could sense it. I mean, because just the pressure everybody brought that was on the floor, 
just kind of – and then we fed off the energy of our fans. I mean, they got into it. I mean, that just motivates us a little bit more. Um, I'd say just our energy just kind of helped us get it, get it going again. Uh, I think one thing that's, like, the biggest thing for us is that uh, defense is all in the mental mindset of how, how you're playing. Uh, you can always bring your defense no matter if your offense isn't working very well. Um, but, I mean, the ball you man principle obviously is a big one, and uh, gap helps obviously a big one. Uh, we really concentrated this year on moving our feet quicker and uh, with our uh, middle alley drill that we always have a fun time with. Um, but um, I think it was using chess, too. I, I know Coach said we forced 22 turnovers, so that's just an indication of uh, active feet, active hands, and a little bit of uh, – that's – I wouldn't say a little bit of heart. That's a lot of heart, and that's a lot of effort going into that. Well, yeah, um, obviously P and I have to go uh, against each other in practice, so uh, I know exactly what those guards were feeling. Um, but, I mean, he's just – he's a pest. And, I mean, a pest in the best way. But, I mean, I'm sure glad he's wearing blue than, uh, than white tonight. Damien, uh, the other night you were, I think, a little frustrated offensively. You didn't have to play your better games. You came out to play and really kind of inserted yourself on both ends of the floor. Just talk about the uh, kind of taking on the challenge of starting their best player and also stepping up um, just defensively, like I said, just doing my job. I mean, everybody on the court for us has a job defensively, and we wouldn't be the great defensive team we are without each everyone doing their job. Um, but offensively, I mean, I mean, we knew coming in it was just our last game. I mean, oh, why wouldn't you just want to play your best? And that's just what I try to do. I mean, I just try to go out there, have fun, enjoy the moment, um, and just I'm just thankful the shots fell tonight. I mean, they weren't really falling. Um, the other night, but that's just the way it is. So, I mean, I'll take it. I mean, it's just, it's just great to know that we just went out victorious our last game.